My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 100 of the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac. We started from the bottom, now we are almost there. Today, we shall be looking at the classification of Akanons. So far, we've been able to name Akanons and we've been able to agree that Akanons are compounds where the OH group is attached to a methyl group. Alkanons or alcohols can be classified based on the number of hydroxy group present and based on the position of the hydroxy group. Look at this. When OH is attached to a methyl group, alkanons are formed, which is basically the general formula for alkanons CN, H2N plus 1. OH. We can group alkanons in two ways based on number of hydroxy group and based on the position of the hydroxy. Since every alkanon must possess the OH group, depending on the number of the hydroxy group, an alkanon can be monohydric dihydric trihydric and four these are based on the number of hydroxy group present in an alkanol. If an alkanol has only one OH, it is simply a monohydric alkanol. If an alkanol has two OH, it is a dihydric alkanol. If an alkanol has three OH in the structure, it is trihydric alkanol. And when an alkanol has more than three OH group in the structure, in the molecule, it is a polyhydric alkanol. Now, depending on the position of the hydroxy group, alkanols are classified into primary alkanols, secondary alkanols, and tertiary alkanols. When the OH group is attached to a primary carbon, that is a primary alkanol. Remember, we discussed the classification of carbon and we said that primary carbon is a carbon that has one other carbon directly linked to it. Secondary carbon has two other carbon attached directly to it, while tertiary carbon has three other carbon atoms directly linked to it. And I gave example of all that. And don't forget, this is a series. You don't take a video as a single. You must start from episode one till you get to the end. Because everything links. No single episode can stand on its own. Now, when the carbon carrying the OH group is a secondary carbon, that alkanol is a secondary alkanol. When the carbon carrying the OH group is a tertiary carbon, that carbon is a tertiary, that alkanol is a tertiary alkanol. Example of monohydric alkanol is ethanol. It has just one OH. Example of dihydric alkanol is ethan 1 2 diol As you can see, it has two OH. Two carbon, two OH. And the name, or the common name for ethan 1 2 diol is glycol. Then, we have three carbon, then it has three OH. OH on carbon 1, 
OH on carbon 2 and OH on carbon 3. This is propane 1, 2, 3 triol. From triol, you will see that it has 3 O. And the common name for ethan 1, 2, 3 triol is glycerol. So, ethan is an example of monohydric alkanol, glycol, or ethan 1, 2 diol. It's an example of dihydric alkanol. Why? Glycerol or it's a 1 to 3 triol is an example of trihydric alkanol. And I say that when an alkanol has more than 3 OH, it is referred to as polyhydric alkanol. Look at this. This is glucose C6H12O6. This is the molecular formula for glucose, and this is the structural formula for glucose. This is D glucose. For D glucose, you see OH here, 1. 2, 3, 4. In fact, there's another one here. So, if that's more than 3 OH, this is a polyhydric alkanol. Glucose or D glucose is a polyhydric alkanol. So, we look at the classes of alkanols based on the number of hydroxy group present. Let's see classification of alkanols based on the position of the hydroxy group. Now, this is propanol or 1 propanol or propan 1 O. If you look at this propanol, this is the hydroxy group or the alkanol functional group. Look at this carbon that this is linked to. This carbon is a primary carbon. Why? It has only one other carbon directly linked to it. So, this is a primary alkanol. Now, look at this. This is propan 2 O or 2 propanol. This is the OH, right? Now, this is the carbon carrying the OH. How many other carbons are directly linked or bonded to the carbon carrying the OH? We have this one here directly linked to it, and we have this one here directly linked to it. So, this is a secondary carbon because it has two other carbons directly linked to it. So, this is a secondary Propan-1-or is a primary alkanol. Propan-2-or or 2-propanol is a secondary alkanol. Now, look at this. This is the functional group. And name it, count it from here. 1, 2, 3. The OH group is on carbon 2. Therefore, it is 2-O. We are going with this chain. That is prop. Any branches, yes, we have a methyl branch. This and the methyl branch is on carbon 2. This is simply 2 methyl propan 2 O. That is the name. Look at something. This is the OH group, and this is the carbon that is attached to the OH group. Now, how many other carbon atoms are linked? To this carbon directly. We have this carbon being linked to it, we have this other carbon being linked to it, and we have this carbon being linked to it. This is simply a tertiary carbon. Therefore, this is a tertiary alkanol. If in jump you are given structure in compressed form, something like this, CH3, then C O H CH3 or C, CH3, then CH3. Expand the structure first to see how the carbon atoms are linked. With that, you will know how many other carbons are linked to the one carrying the OH group. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for classification of alkanols. I hope you found this helpful. Feel free to practice using the Flash Turner Jam app and subscribe to this channel. If you've not done that and see you in the next